Hey, what's up, guys? It's Matt with the YouTube channel Bleepin' Jeep. Today, I want to show you how to change your wheel studs. So, in this case, I'm going to be running some spacers, and my wheel studs weren't long enough. So, by the time I got my brakes on here and then the wheel um, spacers, I didn't have enough room to get my lug nuts on. There was probably only a couple threads that would go on and it wouldn't, uh, the lug nut wouldn't go all the way down on the thread. So I need to get longer wheel studs and I did that. I got these off of uh, eBay I guess it was. The one thing that you need to know when you buy these is, well the thread obviously is uh, in this case is half 20 and then you need to know the length so you need to know how long you want it to be. And then you need to know the neural diameter. So the neural diameter is this part right here. That part presses into the hub. So to find that, you can either look up your factory specs or you can measure it. And this one happens to be 0.625. Now, the factory spec for a Jeep is around 0.615 all the way up to 0.625. 630 somewhere around there but uh, you want to get something very similar if not a little bit larger you definitely don't want a smaller knurl when you press these in it needs to be a tight fit and not be loose back there so the next thing that I did was um, I figured out how long I needed these to be I need them to be two and a half inches but they only make them in three inches so what I did was I, I cut it down with my angle grinder with a cutting wheel on it and then it was also the head was a little bit bigger so I had to shave off a little bit so that when I feed these through that they would bypass the edge of the hub here and make it all the way through. So let me show you how to take these out. It's pretty easy. You just get you a big hammer and you just whack it out like that. So you go around doing that, you can take a socket and use that to spin it around for each one that you do. It's bound up here. Just spin it around like that and then knock the next one out. So I've got these in, now I need to uh, press them in. Now you could take the whole thing off and take it to a press and press it in, or you can use air tools. So you need a, a big one of these, uh, otherwise it's probably not going to have the strength to be able to pull that through. So what you also need is some kind of a spacer. You can use um, like a big nut, or you can use just a piece of metal, or some washers, or whatever. You need to space that off. And then you need a couple of lug nuts that are sacrificial. You don't want to use your regular lug nuts because these are going to get all messed up. I like to use some anti-seize just to make sure nothing's going to lock up on me. So I've got the spacer on there and then I've got the sacrificial lug nut on there. Now when I start it's going to, the back is going to start spinning so it's better if I put a little bit of pressure onto it. I'm going to use a screwdriver to do that and then once it tightens down, it's going to suck it in. So once it grabs, it's going to start pulling that back end in. Let me show you that around here. So you're just going to watch right here until that uh, head of the neural bottoms out. And when it does, you'll hear your impact gun make like a different sound. But uh, just take a look here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. So once it bottoms out, that's pretty much it. You just hit reverse and back it off. and it is installed. Now I guess you could do this by hand if you didn't have an impact gun, but it would be very tedious and very difficult process. So that's all you do. Now you just 
I'm going to move it over to the next one and we'll do the same thing. Okay, so after a little bit of work, you'll have all new studs and you can go ahead and put your wheel spacers or if you've got aluminum wheels, those are usually thicker. If, you, if you're going from steel wheels to aluminum, you might need longer studs. I guess I need to put my brakes on and everything like that, but another thing you want to consider is that you don't want your studs sticking out of your wheel spacers because now your wheel has to go onto there. Uh, like I said, uh, you can't get those in every length, but you can get them long and then cut them down. When I do that, I just cut them uh, down and then I bevel the edges with a grinder so that, uh, so that it takes that uh, edge off and it makes it more of a point so that when you go to put a lug nut on there, it'll straighten itself right on. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.